Hey, Eric Allen from Fast Rescue Solutions. Today we're going to go over the design features and all the components on the fast board. The board is 45 inches long and 18 inches along the handles. It cuts down to 11 inches on the bottom. The board is molded for the pieces of hardware. It has undercuts on the sides. This allows it to have a stable platform when we have to take it to a low profile or when we're going around tight corners. The handles on the board are eight inches, which allows us to get two full gloved hands in each one so that we're not fighting for space if we're looking to have uh, multiple people lifting someone. The bar across the middle of the board is where the lashing, the lower lashing comes through the board, wraps around that and then passes back out so that if the lower lashing gets loaded or hung up on something overloaded, it transfers that load to the middle of the board and set up to a single point at the bottom. On the bottom, we have these carve outs so it lowers the amount of friction on the board as we're dragging it along any surface. When it comes down to 11 inches on the bottom, that allows us to put the board inside of a, uh, a ladder so that it doesn't kick out of the rails if we're doing a lift out, um, like an improvised lift out of stairs from a basement, or if we're doing a ladder slide uh, out of a second floor or off of a roof. The other components on the board you see here are we have a haul bag it's got about 75 feet of escape tech rope it's doubled over and knotted every 12 inches we do 12 inches because that's about the length of an adult male's forearm so if we're in a tight confined space and we're getting that haul we know that every pull we're going to have that knot to be able to get a good purchase point there it also gives us a a place to put in a mechanical advantage anywhere inside that system. The haul bag is attached to the lashing, lashing system so that when we start that haul or what they call for the haul, it'll tighten that system up on the down firefighter and we can start moving right away. The carabiner at the bottom of the bag allows us to lock the system off so that we don't have to worry about spilling the bag out. So if we don't need the full length of the rope, we can just lock it off. It gives us a good pull point and we don't have to worry about all that rope management. Our lashing system is Kevlar and that allows us to not have to worry about getting any embers on it or get it burnt or cut. It's very tough stuff. The red and blue bag are a horizontal bridle. They're color coded so that we can remember them. Red to the head, blue to the bottom. Real simple, take it, we would pass it underneath our patient's legs, up through the handles, the top, we go under our lashing system, again through the handles, Connect our bridle system. The blue lashing is a little longer, so you get that nice angle. Makes it a little bit more comfortable for the person on the board. What we can also use them for is if we're doing a vertical lift out. You can take your upper bridle our lashing system would be our main load. Then we could hook this to our safety system. So we get our secondary safety on side on the board. If we had a low point um, mechanical advantage, we can take one of our lashing systems, our horizontal bridle, 
grab that bottom handle, take it back up, put it into our system, and when we get to the extent of our low point mechanical advantage, we can grab a hold of this, and now we can set up our pick and pivot, pike and pivot. If we have a mass casualty, we can also use our horizontal bridle as drag straps. So now we can functionally package one person on the board, have two drag straps with our horizontal bridle, and then another one with our multi-loop strap. Multi-loop strap is by Anderson Rescue Solutions. It's just a really functional piece of equipment. That's why we put it on the board. Uh, we use it for a shorter haul or drag strap. Uh, if we have multiple iterations and we're not traversing a bunch of stairs, this is a really good way to not have to worry about so much rope management. We can also hog tie the legs to compress the body when we're they're on the board so that if we're in a confined space, it makes it easier for maneuverability. The strap across the middle is our RIT bag strap or our tool strap or utility strap. We would put our med bag under here, our RIT bag under here. We could also strip it down, put a couple of tools in there. Uh, that gives us, gives us our full system all in one place so that when we move in, uh, everything comes in together. You'll see that we got a, a bunch of different Velcro patches on the board. It just allows us to affix all of our pieces of equipment to the board very quickly. When we have some wood on the board, it's very easy to pop that front carabiner out, take it over them. The tri-link, we have a bull ring on here. This is a welded eye uh, ring on here. It just allows us to get a, our fingers in there a little better to get a pop up, pull out, make our connection. When we pull and we tighten them down, we've got cam buckles on the board. This is our progress capture. So when, when this gets tightened down, there's no slack that comes back out of the system. You see there's a couple of more bull rings on here. That connects the lower lashing system to the upper lashing system, which creates a true harness on the board. And as you saw earlier, we've got AWOGs all over the board, gives us good reference to the board. We have them on the bottom also. So if the board gets turned over, you can see, you can reference it in the dark. Um, if you like these videos, if, uh, if they're useful to you guys, you know, please like and subscribe us. If you have any specific questions, you can get in touch with me at info at fastrescuesolutions.com. Thank you.